fun to read with me. This is the uh, first Christmas. Written, this is written by Miles Kelly. Illustrated by Yorgos the Chorus. Never mind. Meet you there. The first Christmas. Miles Kelly. A long time ago, a young woman called Mary lived in a little town of Nazareth. She was engaged to marry a, carpent, a carpenter named Joseph. One day, Mary was visited by an angel who told her that she would have a very special baby. The baby would be the son of God. And he was to be called Jesus. The angel also visited Joseph in a dream. Mary's child will be the savior of God's people. The angel told him, you should raise him as your own. Just before the birth Earth, Mary and Joseph had to travel to Bethlehem, Joseph's birthplace, to, to be counted in a survey. It was a very long way to Bethlehem, and when they arrived, it was late. The streets were crowded with people who had also come to be counted. Mary and Joseph began to look for somewhere to stay as the baby was about to be born. They tried the first inn they came to, but the innkeeper turned them away. He, he had no room to spare. Many, I mean, Mary and Joseph tried another inn, but again they were turned away. Growing desperate, Mary and Joseph went from inn to inn, but everywhere was full. Eventually, they came to the very last one. I'm sorry, the innkeeper said, but I don't have any rooms left. All I can offer you is my stable. Mary and Joseph were very grateful. That night, in the warm stable amongst the animals, Mary gave birth to a baby boy. She called him Jesus, just as the angel had said carefully. She wrapped him in cloths and laid him in the manger. Meanwhile, on the hills just outside Bethlehem, some shepherds were watching over their flock. Suddenly, an angel appeared. I bring wonderful news. A child has been born who will be the savior of all people. As the shepherds watched, amazed, the sky was filled with hundreds of dazzling angels, all singing songs of joy. The angel told the shepherds that they would find the baby in a stable in Bethlehem. They heard it straight. They were very excited. When they reached the stable, there was Jesus in the, in the manger. The shepherd believed that the, he truly was the Savior. Sometime after Jesus was born in a in distant lands, three wise men saw a new star in the night sky. It, it shone much more bright, brightly than the rest. They knew that this meant a child had been born who would be the king of God's people. They set off at once to find him following the new star. In Jerusalem, 
The wise men were summoned to see King Herod. He had heard about the new king and was not happy. He ordered them to tell him where the baby was. Once they found him, when the wise men reached Bethlehem, the star shone above a small house. Inside, the wise men bowed before Jesus and gave him gifts, a gold frankincense and myrrh. On their journey home, the wise men did not return to King Herod, as they had a dream that th that warned them not to. An angel then appeared to Joseph to warn him of danger. So he, well, the family set off for Egypt. There, Jesus, the Savior world, will be safe. The end. Thank you for reading with me, guys. Bye. Bye-bye, guys.